Hey guys, this is Brian again. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a pressure washer. Customer said he's got no flow from the pressure in, even with the machine running. Hook the water hose up. You should always have water coming out, but he's not getting that. Uh, before we get started, always be safe. Wear the proper safety equipment and whatnot for whatever job you're doing. Uh, and as I've mentioned in all my videos, this is a working shop, so there's times that I have to stop in order to help my customers or uh, answer phone calls. But otherwise, I try to run my video straight through and be concise and quick as possible. Um, but none of this is a substitute for taking your equipment to a good certified shop to get to take a look at. Uh, I guess I want to take a look at it, do everything that needs to be done. What I'm showing you is quick things that you can do on the job site typically to help you get through with the job. So as I mentioned, he's got water going in, but we got no water coming out. Even with the engine is running <clears throat> and the pump is running, nothing at all is coming out. And usually, usually most pumps are a free flow situation. So the water free flows through here as you're using it or when you're not using it, as long as the water pressure is on, you've got water coming out. When you don't, <clears throat> you got an issue. So I checked it out. Sure enough, nothing's coming out of the, out of the uh, high pressure side with or without pressure. So we're going to remove this and as you can see there's two fittings on here you got your quick connect fitting and then you got this collar we're going to take the collar off not the quick connect and this is this is a spot that i always go to first nine times out of ten this is going to be where your problem is and it's basically a clog very simple to address so we're going to put a wrench on it loosen it up There's going to be two pieces in here that you want to make sure you don't lose. Alright. So this is piece one. This is piece two. There's a spring. I want to make sure this, this kind of looks like a bullet. You see there's a hole through it. And there's a hole here. So your water goes in here, back out through here, and out through your, your uh, fitting. And what this does, this is a back pressure, so prevents back pressure. So as your machine's running and you pull the trigger, this pushes in and allows water to flow out. When you let go of the trigger, it kicks back, plugs the inside, and forces the water down through here, back to recycle through. Usually... <coughs> There's a clog in here. You'll see trash built up around the hole and there's going to be no flow. But that's not going to be the case because as you can see, there's no, no trash on it. So I look inside. I don't see anything inside of the hole here. So we're going to set this to the side. I'm going to say, make sure both pieces stay with it. So now we're going to take the, the unloader itself off. for the shaky video. But that's a workstation. Not a not a film studio. There we go. Pull this banjo bolt out. I'm look in it. There's nothing in there. We're clear. Nothing inside the upper high pressure side. So we're going to pull this lower one off. 
as well. We're going to look in there. Alright, I see a lot of trash. Remnants coming out. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. So we're clear. I'm going to pull this filter screen off. I'm sorry, I'm not in the camera good. I'm going to pull that off. We can see through it. So none of that. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to... I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but we're going to try it. You see that silver circle way in the back. That's not supposed to be there. <clears throat> usually, if you got a valve that goes bad, it's going to be one of these three in the front. These will usually be last. These will be first. So we're going to look at these right here and see what we've got on the inside. And that's going to tell us what we got going on. Now, I'm not going to keep doing that. I gotta keep remembering my hands are not hammers. <clears throat> it only took 53 years to figure out my hands are not hammers. I'm gonna speed this process up just a little bit. black pieces those are your valves you got three of them on the bottom and I say usually if one goes bad it's going to be down at the bottom not always this one's damaged you can see I don't know if you can see you see there's a piece missing on this side it should be circular pull this off you see there's trash inside of this one. And pull this one. And spring is missing completely out of this one. So is the center plate. And where that center plate went, I don't know, because it doesn't fit through, it will not fit through that hole. I have no idea where it went. Unless it got crushed. Folded and spit out the back side. Pull the ones off the top. See what we got. Okay. This one's dirty, but it's okay. But again, <clears throat> there's no indication of where the plate is for that valve. I'm going to pull this out from the back side. There's the spring. And I don't see the plate at all. And I keep saying the plate. <clears throat> we'll go back to this. You see, you got, I can't move that one because it's damaged too bad. You got this one, that little plate. 
moves in and out. There's a spring. This one has no spring, and the little plate is missing. It's gone. It's not inside of the pump. It's not in the unloader. I can blow straight through the unloader. All right, so gonna need a new set of valves. <clears throat> Should probably get this back uh, in action. So we're gonna check with the customer real quick, see what they want to do, and we'll be right back. All right, so the customer wants to go ahead and put some new valves in. So that's what we're gonna do. Make sure there's no trash in it. Nope, so we're good. So the O-rings are inside. We just left them in there. We're going to reuse them. We're going to take and push in the new, the new valves. And they just go in just like that. And that's the new valves look like that. I mean, look just like the old ones. Push them in. So they're sitting, sitting firm and square in the bottom into the O-rings. I was hoping it was actually going to be trash stuck in the in the unloader for you because that's that's one of those things that happens occasionally, but it's a good learning experience on that one simply because it don't happen that often and people don't think to look at that. So it wasn't, but hey, it is what it is. We're going to start threading these back on by hand. Make sure you put these on by hand. Do not use any power tools or wrenches to put these on until you got them seated into the threads. Because if you cross thread this brass, you're going to be buying a new head. And if you're going to be buying a new head, you might as well just buy a new pump. Because this head is expensive compared to what the whole pump sells for. Make sure they're in there flat and square now. Because moving it around, they start to shift, just like these two down at the bottom have. If they're not in there square and you start putting these on, you're going to crush them. Tighten it up. I'm going to put the unloader back on. Make sure you got an o-ring here and here make sure they're still there if they're not there it's going to leak and thread it on by hand be sure to drop them at least once on the floor because that's always helpful back in. Sometimes this don't line up just right, so you got to make sure you move it and wiggle it around. Tighten it back up by hand as far as you can go. I'm going to tighten it up. Put our quick connect and back close valve back on. Make sure that bullet and that spring is in the correct way. If you don't remember, go back and look at the beginning of the video where I showed you how it goes in. If it's backwards, it's not going to work. Tight. 
put our screen back in place. That's it. So you replace the valves on your pump, put your unloader back on, all your fittings are tight, your filters are in place, all your O-rings are in place, push uh, blowback valve is put back in the correct position. Now we're gonna go out. All right, so now you've replaced the valves uh, in, your, in your pump. We got all our fittings back on, O-rings are in place, everything's tight. The Blowback valve is put back into the correct position. Now we're going to test it outside. Hook your water up. See if you got water flow. If you got water flow, turn it on. See if you got pressure. If you don't, then we start looking at other issues. But uh, but at this point, that's what we got. I believe we're going to be good to go. If I check it and it's not solved all the problems, we're going to bring it back in and we'll start up another video. But that's how you change your valves on the uh, pressure washer pump. You guys find me on Facebook as well versus uh, subscribing on this channel. Because on Facebook, you can contact me directly through the DM and actually get questions answered a lot faster. You guys be safe. I appreciate it. We'll talk with you later.